It's time for another kitchen adventure here in the Let's Make Food From Food Kitchen. And today we're finally making the Reuben. And I am not sad about that. I am so excited. I love homemade corned beef, homemade rye bread. It just, it's, it's delightful. And then I've got my homemade Thousand Island dressing. I've got some baby Swiss from, I think that's Boar's Head. I don't make cheese yet. So I'm gonna work on that at some point. Okay, this is warmed up. I need to melt. It's about a tablespoon of butter per sandwich. Okay. And I'm just gonna spread it around a little bit and then I'm gonna take two slices of bread and get it right on to that melting butter. I'm gonna take a couple smaller slices because I don't need a ginormous sandwich today. Okay, and I'm just going to toast the bread. Now while that's toasting, I've got my corned beef and I am going to chunk it up into my pan as well. I'm gonna try not to get this big piece of fat here on it. In fact, I can take my butter knife, I think, and just cut it off. Okay, I'm doing this in chunks. My slices are really thick and I don't want it that thick on my sandwich. So for each sandwich, you want about three to four ounces is good. What I've got in here right now is about four ounces. Each slice was about four. So, yep, yeah, still delicious. Okay, so I just want this to heat up some. Okay, I'm checking on my bread. I don't want it to burn, I want it to toast. And I'm just heating up my corned beef. I almost forgot to get out this very important ingredient of the homemade sauerkraut. There will be videos Links for all of those videos down below. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put my cheese on my bread. I like a lot of cheese. And I don't want it, like I said, I don't want it to burn. So I'm gonna watch it carefully. I'm gonna turn that side over I think this needs to come off. Okay. Pretty good cheese. So when we put our warm meat on there, it should melt some of that. What I want to do on this side, you know, actually I'm going to just let it on. So you need to drain, strain some of your sauerkraut. So I'm going to take a fork and get some of this out. I don't want there to be a whole lot of liquid because that'll make my sandwich soggy. Okay, and just as much as you think you're gonna want on your sandwich. So my cheese is melting there, so I'm gonna hold this over here and begin piling on the corned beef to my sandwich. Now, I will say this so that you don't get upset with me later. This can be a messy, messy way to eat it because your corned beef is in pieces, your sauerkraut's all over the place, so you've been warned, have some extra napkins, but enjoy it, it is delicious. Now, I am going to take my Thousand Island dressing and just drizzle some on there. I don't like to overdo it because I don't like super runny sandwiches, but I do want the flavor. So we'll just drizzle some on there. And then we'll take our sauerkraut to put on top. And I'm not just piling it on there from the bowl upside down so that I can kind of get rid of that last little bit of liquid, okay? All right, and there we have a delicious Reuben sandwich. <clears throat> Okay, now comes the challenge. Can I cut it without it falling apart? Ooh, kind of. Look at this. That's beautiful. And now there's only one thing left to do. If there was something to describe 
lunch happiness. This is it. It's delicious. Mm, yummy. Is there something you'd like to learn how to make? Tell me what it is down below in the comments. What is your favorite hot sandwich? Thanks for joining me here today for another kitchen adventure. From my kitchen to yours, let's make food from food. That's one boy.